Westfield High School. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Westfield High School, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Aiden Forbes. And I'm Olivia Berger. The Community Service Club is collecting extra lunches on Thursday for the Salvation Army. Please include a snack, a sandwich, fruit, and beverage, and drop them off in the bin at the main entrance. There will be a mandatory girls basketball informational sign-up meeting tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Cafeteria B. Please bring at least one parent or guardian. The Mental Health Awareness Club will be having its first meeting today after school in room 222. Join the classroom with the code 6TKNHWU. Um, Stop by to learn about plans for the new year. New members are always welcome. The first No Place or Hate meeting will take place today immediately after school in the library. The No Place or Hate committee is an active committee of students, staff, and parents that work tirelessly to create a more inclusive environment at WHS by developing events and activities to build allyship and end hate. New members are always welcome. Ciao! The Italian Club is holding its first meeting today in room 257 after school. The Speaking Out Support Club will have its first meeting tomorrow in room 244, right after school. Get all updates in the Google Classroom with code UBYHZEF. New and returning members are welcome. This Wednesday is Club Day. Walk through the Dr. Nelson Courtyard periods 4 through 8 to find out more information about all the great clubs that WHS has to offer. If you plan, out, plan on trying out for boys basketball team, a mandatory sign-up meeting will take place Monday at 7.30 p.m. The meeting will be virtual and you must have one parent or guardian on the call with you. If you are not in the Google Classroom, see Coach McKeon immediately. Undergraduate student photos for the yearbook will be taken Friday. You will be attending during your English class. Forms for ordering photos will be distributed in homeroom. New faculty and staff can also have their photos taken during any period. Just ask the photographer and you may go to the front of the line. Returning faculty and staff can also update their photo. It's now time for sports with Emmy Wadonowski. What's up, Emmy? Good morning, Westfield High School. I'm Emmy Wadonowski, and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, girls field hockey had a 2-1 win over Livingston with goals scored by Riley Carr and Kayla Reyes. Girls tennis also came in third at Union County Tournament. Today at four, boys soccer will take on Elizabeth at Keller, girls volleyball, volleyball will play away at Kent Place, and girls tennis is back in action against someone at home. Finally, congrats to senior Juliana Gallo on her commitment to Johnson and Wales Volleyball. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Olivia and Aiden. Thank you, Emmy. Last Thursday, WHS welcomed parents and guardians to the halls of Westfield High for back to school night. Jordan Miron was also there to tell us more. Back to school night was a buzz of excitement and BDTV spoke to several students and teachers to hear their thoughts on returning to school. It's my senior year and it's just super fun to be back with all of my friends and even to make some new ones. There's a lot of cool stuff going on this year. There's plenty of clubs and activities in this school like uh, theater and choir and a lot of fun clubs that run after school. So it's really important that students branch out and look for opportunities to grow and have fun. The kids are excited to be together again doing the newspaper and the magazine and all the sports stuff. I think that it feels good for them to be a part of a community. One of the SGA's main goal for this year is to definitely raise school spirit. I think by doing that you create a sense of community and like encouragement and get everyone excited to be back here. I think the school when everyone gets excited is a really good place to be, especially like when you're looking to find friends and be like a part of a team. It's clear there's excitement for the new school year. Back to you in the studio. Thanks Jordan. Have you seen the library renovations that were made this summer? Ruby Saltzman shows us more. I'm Ruby Salzman, and today we're checking out the new improvements made to the library this summer. This summer, well, we have changed the layout of the library a little bit as best we can and changed the instructional area specifically. So we now have a flat screen monitor and two whiteboards. Well, we think with our new space, it will help with more flexible grouping when classes come in, but also it just updates the space 
Oh, we also have a new monitor outside the library, and now we'll be able to make better updates. Those are some awesome renovations. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ruby. That's all for today. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a terrific Tuesday!